Wouldn't it be cool if we could build or learn something in just about five minutes? We're gonna be at this little three dot loading icon with the overlay in just five minutes and five minute front end. <laughs> I want to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. There hasn't been an organization that has quite sponsored and supported the channel quite like Dev Mountain. And I've had the pleasure of not only partaking in their Quality Assurance Coding Bootcamp, which was quite easy to furlough after two weeks in, but also viewing some of their campuses in the Provo, Utah, and talking with several of their students. I couldn't recommend their platform and their bootcamp more. Check them out at Dev Mountain. Dot com. All right, so we're going to build a little three dot loading icon just using a little bit of CSS, a little bit of HTML, and some JavaScript just to showcase how we might get rid of it uh, in some vanilla JavaScript. So, uh, very first thing I'm going to do is just open up the inspector here so that we can see. Uh, we're going to have this little bit of native margin around the body. It gives us a little bit of an issue, so that's the very first thing I'm going to do is just remove margin on the body. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to have a container that takes up this whole space. So we're going to start there by creating our container like so. And this is going to be a div. I'm just going to go ahead and call it the loader-container. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, and then within here, for our three dots, we're going to create three divs. Now, uh, originally what I did was I ended up not class, I, I ended up creating three divs and I refactored it to use the before and after. We're gonna use the div version in case you're not familiar with the, with the, um, oops, loader. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do the numbers. Dollar sign times three, I think I did that right. Uh, almost, so I was trying to create loader class one, two, and three using Emmet. So these are just gonna be empty divs. And what eventually they're gonna be are the icons uh, or the, the dots, right? So let's get started with that, right? They're all gonna be about the same size. So in our style here, we can create dot loader one, dot loader two, and dot loader three. And what are they gonna be? Well, um, before we do that, let's actually set, oops, let's go ahead and set this background color because they're gonna be white and it's gonna make it a little bit harder to see. So we'll have our loader-container. Now we want this to be positioned absolutely because we want it to always be over the screen and it's gonna make it much easier to center things. So let's go ahead and give this a background color real quick. And with any good overlay, you want to have it slightly see-through. So we're gonna use RGBA to give us that slightly see-through look. And that's gonna be 51, 51, 51, comma, point zero, 0 0.5. So it's gonna give it a slight gray look uh, once we actually uh, set up how big it's gonna be. It's not gonna be anything right now uh, because loader container has no width. We're gonna make, uh, give it a uh, display of flex. So we're gonna stretch it out and then we're gonna just, uh, uh, We'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, we're gonna set a min height, a min width as well, to be 100 view width. And we're gonna set a min height to be 100 view width. All right, uh, or view height, excuse me, view height. That's what the, there we go. So now we have this nice little overlay that covers the whole thing. And we're gonna position that, absolutely. Uh, the reason for that is we want it to lay over top of our content. So if we had an H1 here, we're just going to put it in here oops, with uh, some uh, content, some random content. It doesn't really matter what it is. You can see that it's laying over top right now. Very nice. All right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and just add a little bit of some of the loader icons. So we're going to add a height of about 1.5M. And you can, you can really make this whatever you want to be, right? So a lot of these things are arbitrarily chosen. So we're gonna make a width of about 1.5M. Then we're gonna give it a um, background color of white. All right, uh, then we're gonna go ahead and give it a border radius of 50%. Right now there's no spacing, so they're gonna look 
a little bit scrunched together and then we're gonna go ahead and um, make them uh, go ahead and have a margin of about, I don't know, 1 a.m. That sounds about good. So spaced out a little bit. We're gonna jump back up into our flex box and we're gonna tell it to justify our items, or excuse me, justify content center. And it's gonna center it horizontally. And then we're gonna to wanna to center it vertically and we're gonna align the items vertically. which is center as well. So now they're already in the center here. We're, all, we're halfway there. So what we can do next is we can go ahead and uh, just define our animation and then we can set a little bit of a timeout for when we want this to stop. So um, let's go ahead and define our animation. We'll just call it loading. So we're gonna fire keyframes and we'll call it, uh, what did I call it originally? I called it something originally. Oh, I called it expand, huh. I think I like loading better. But what we're gonna do is at 0%, which we can actually go ahead and refactor that to from, we're gonna transform it and have it scale horizontally and vertically from zero to about uh, 1.5 EM. About the same size that this is originally. And so we're gonna have it transform and then scale it to about 1.5 EM. Cool. Uh, now that we have that, that's our entire animation. Now we just have to set up a little bit of custom logic for each one of these and uh, we're good to go. So how do we do that? Well, we just gotta uh, get the timing about right and to find out what animation worked the best. Uh, this is just my combination. So in loader one here, we're gonna apply the animation and uh, you see we have all these, we're only gonna need all the way up to delay. And then we might do some minor little magic. So we're gonna use the expand. Uh, what I found worked for loader one was about 1.25 seconds. And then for the timing functioning, uh, we want it to be infinite, right? In theory, this we're waiting for, the, for it to finish loading. We don't really know how long that's gonna be. And we're gonna wanna time that out in our, uh, we're gonna to want to time that out in our own um, in our own case. So, uh, and then we're gonna ease in and out, and then we're gonna give a 0.45 second delay. All right, and so now you'll see that we have this nice little dot, and all we really have to do here, uh, this is where mix-ins would come in very, very nicely. We could define a slightly different animation with modifying this mix-in. Mix-ins are something you would use in SAS or less, but hey, we're not working in SAS or less, we're working in native CSS. So you can see we have this nice little loading animation and we'll do it one more time for dot loader three animation. We can just paste that in there. So this is going to go infinite. This is our animation. This is how long the animation is supposed to take. And this is the delay. And this is how it sort of animates. If you want to think about that, it eases in and then out. And there's about uh, eight different ones that we can do. And so we can do about 0.15 seconds here. And then what I did was I also added uh, animation fill mode here to be the same for all of them. Uh, and what this is going to do when we do both is it's going to hold on to the state for it's just that little 0.5 one second delay so it doesn't look like it's expanding uh, deleting both and hold back on that I also gave it a little bit of a box shadow so that we uh, had a little bit of a darker edge here and uh, just a little two pixel and then hashtag 333 is the same as the color that we used earlier and so you see a nice little little edge there maybe two pixels might be a little bit much maybe one one pixel just give it so it's a little bit easier to see I don't know. Um, and that's it. So how might we get rid of this using some regular JavaScript? Well, let's let's go ahead and pretend that we're handling a, something asynchronous. We'll just do that with, by imitating a set timeout. And then uh, what we can do is we can just go ahead and select this and we'll say loader and we'll grab it by the element. So document dot get element, get element by ID. What's our ID? Loader dot container or dash container, excuse me. And we'll go ahead and say loader dot style 
dot display equals none. And then we'll have that display after three seconds. Typically, you'd probably have your loader show once you have uh, once you had something like um, an asynchronous call complete. So, oh, it launches for three seconds, and then bam, it's done. And that's it. Uh, a little bit more than five minutes, but a little 10-minute tutorial on how you can create a little three-dot loading icon for your application. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and uh, check out my courses in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.